What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we have the new Black Friday event in-game. Uh, we've already gotten a couple things taken care of on the list, such as the Glamour card, we got the Black Friday package, so therefore we're going to get some extra rewards when we get 5-star heroes via Heroic Summoning. So you do have to summon in order to get these cores, not as good as if it was just like, just pull out 5-star heroes like we normally have in the quest system. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to get that done because I want to grab everything from this event. We actually already have enough points to get a lot of stuff, including a couple of the new things here. So, um, oh wait, that's an avatar. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. So the new, f oh, I see. I see. So maybe we are only getting three and not four. This frame is going to be lit, though. So uh, for now, though, we need to do our heroic summons for this event. We need to build the new hero, Vulcan. And uh, yeah, Transcendence Preview. Obviously, he is going to be the next Transcendent. Looks like he almost has wings, right? I feel like he's going to look cool. Another warrior. I'm down for that. So let's get going here. Uh, we got tons of scrolls. We need to do 2,000. Technically, 1,600, but we're going to do full 2,000 to try to build the hero. Ooh, his animation. So I thought it was more like a gun lance, but it looks more just like a cannon. That <laughs> looks so awkward. Oh, what is happening with his animation? Okay, sure. Yeah, whatever. Um. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's hope we get nine copies, two five stars right out the gate. I will take that. And because we have so much food on our account, guys, we're going to be doing something a little special here, probably in a, might actually make it a video today. Getting a lot of the newest heroes, we're getting Azrael copies. I mean, Natasha, I guess, isn't really new anymore. She's like, what, over a year old at this point? Uh, but we are getting those V points, which is the important part because we want every single V point at our disposal. Let's see what we can get here. I don't know how much we're going to be able to test this hero, though, because, well... I feel like his main use would be CLAN 20, like getting the CLAN 20 on an account if you get him. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Confusing hero nowadays, when a new hero comes out, there's not as much hype. There's hype when there's a Transcendence hero coming out, but people don't really care about regular heroes because besides like Holmes Young, I feel like we haven't had a hero come out that was like, really that amazing? I mean, regular Mockman didn't really have use. Ooh, a Fiona copy. Um, oh wow, I totally keep forgetting to take energy out of this bar. We have almost 136 heroes just sitting in that bar, which is like what? Five? Yeah, like it's like five nine star heroes just chilling up here. Sherlock copy, cool, cool. Uh, but yeah, can you guys leave a comment down below if you think you know what we're going to be doing on our account with all of our excess food? It's something that's a blast for the past, so that could that could be a couple different things, but leave a comment down below. I want to know if you guys can guess it, because we're going to do something probably after this. Okay, that feels like that was pretty much the pity timer hero copy, right? We got him a little early. If we can get another one, like, right away, that would be perfect. That way we can guarantee our copies and not have to use any eternal crystals, but, like, eternal crystals aren't really even that, like, amazing anymore. <laughs> All right, let's do some fusions here. Uh, might as well make a couple more six stars while we're at it because we have ridiculous numbers of food right now. <laughs> um, sure, we'll make a 10 star here as well. I guess that works. And then we will scrap all of our three stars. Not even going to worry about our shards because, like I said, we have so much. Let's keep going. We need to hit an early Vulcan here somewhere. We need to get nine copies. I feel like the last two events, we've only gotten eight of them. Man, we're not even hitting five stars. <laughs> you know, I still want to get the avatar for not getting five stars in like two to three hundred summons. I forget which ones they are. I, forget, I think I've gotten the none in 200. I think I need to get the none in 300, but we are hitting a bunch of them now, which is cool. It's just sad that summoning just isn't as exciting in this game as it is in other gacha games. But it's really just such, like, Idle Heroes feels like such a unique game in the market right now. There we go. That's an early Vulcan copy. 
Um, might need to get one more just a little bit early from the pity timer. Or we just might use some extra scrolls and keep saving eternity crystals just in case they're useful in some case. I mean, it's, this is not like the old days where I saved up eternal crystals just so we could build like three Russells or we could build like three Eos or Taras or whatever like we used to do. We can't do that no more because, well, it's not really useful. Ooh, a triple. That's kind of crazy. We don't see that anymore. Up to 145 star heroes up the top. Good lord. My goodness. Um, okay. Jar and Shaho, that's actually a pretty good pull. Probably gonna do some awakenings with the uh the resources we're gonna get from this event as well. Cause there's like the guaranteed B, B minus, and B plus hero copies. Hoping one of those rolls an A. Like honestly, I really, really hope we can get them to roll higher. Sleepless copy. Uh, I'm wondering if I should bring back, seeing that sleepless copy, I wonder if I should bring back the Barry Battle Bowl at all. Remember that event we used, we did for a while back? We put all the five stars of get up against each other within each faction to see who the strongest in each faction was, and then we went crazy with everybody. It was a fun one. I'll have to, re, I'll have to get those accounts back, though, because I just don't really use those accounts anymore. Which means I don't have, like, the newer heroes, which is the only downside of this, so... Still got a lot of bag space. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we still need two more Vulcan, I believe. I think we've found three so far. We get another one here. Still, to this day, there it is. Okay, so let's see where we at on the event. 91 in, and we have how many? Three. Okay, so that was our third. So we're going to get, yeah, we might have to do like 91 more than the 2000. But if we hit one early, that should solve our problem. Keep going here. I think since we have so many heroic scrolls on this account, we might actually hunt it. And in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in the achievement list here, uh, this guy right here, the Bleak Moonlight. You have to do no five stars after 300 consecutive. The closest I got was 241. Doing it outside of a Heroic Scroll event would probably be the way to go. And I'm tempted to do it. Like, I really am. Because we just, we have more Heroic Scrolls than we need for events, like, moving forward. It's no big deal whatsoever. Plus, we have, like, prey events and stuff. And we just have so many extra heroes coming our way. It would feel bad for someone to hit that 300 during a Heroic Summon event where the five star drop rate is much higher got a saya copy right there come on show me another vulcan another triple wow that's pretty sweet uh we got a blood blade mm, nothing else here are you gonna try to do it right now game <laughs> i mean i won't be mad honestly but we should get a guaranteed vulcan eventually eventually which would mess up our uh summons anyway Ah, uh, another double there. Okay, all right. Uh, it feels like we got our fourth Vulcan. Okay. And we need to do how many more? Oh, actually, that was early. So, yeah, we're guaranteed the nine copies. Thank goodness. Now, something we haven't seen in a long time. I think it was literally the last time we did it was like fourth anniversary. Where I think we summoned two Drakes on the same temple. I don't think we've done that since then. And that was even before the pity timer, I think. I think for Drake, that was before the pity, which ended up being pretty cool. But since then, we've done tons of these heroic summon events. It's, gee, it's just gone downhill. <laughs> just straight up downhill, you guys all agree, right? Uh, hold on, wait a minute. More food? More food, all right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Build more of these guys here. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Let's get rid of the three stars. And let's see, we have just about 500 bag space and we need to do how many summons? I mean, we can just go till it's full. That should be fine. It is 40 extra, but whatever. Uh, unless we hit an early Vulcan, then I might just stop. Because you don't really need the extra rewards. We could just save those scrolls up for potential avatar frame unlockings with 300 summons and no five star. 
Oh, goodness. This one feels almost like it. The Dasmog messes it up. And then the Aiden copy. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's finish this up. Give me the, I mean, really, we just need the points. I guess, actually, no. We need to do the 2,000 because I want all the points here. Or actually, no. Isn't there only 1,600? No, 1,600 is for the chest. We want to keep going all the way to 2,000 because those V points are here for the entirety of the loot. Which we should be getting pretty close to it now. Another Das Moog, wow. We're getting a lot of dark food too. Sleepless copies, Das Moog copies. I haven't seen many light here. So there's the last one we need of Vulcan, I believe. We do need to do 150 more though. Let's double check. Yep, that's the five copies from there. All right, let's keep going. Let's just go until our bag says we are full. Honestly, I was going to say, if we can just not hit any more five stars, I would be cool with that because then that kind of loads us up for the video we do next week. Come on, just don't show me any. Give us like 150 summons. Get us to the halfway point. Goodness. This is actually kind of good. It's weird to say that. Where are we at? Where are we at on the event? I feel like we might be done. Oh, we got to do two more. Please, please. No more five stars. <laughs> oh, the queen. No. I feel like we just went like over 100. No. All right. Well, is what it is at this point. We'll create those up. We'll grab all of our extra rewards here from all of our fusions and stuff. We will also grab our copies out of the bag just to get all of the gear unlocks. We got the extra resources from the Black Friday event as well down here. So, yeah, we're looking pretty solid. So, overall, not that bad. Um, we do need to build the hero, though. That is something we do need to do. We got 20 of these. Holy cow. All right, give me one. <laughs> just, just one. One's fine. Uh, and now we should be able to come in here, build the new hero up. He is going to be the next Transcendent, so there is points of actually making him maxed out. Now we should have everything we need. Like, there should be no issues here whatsoever. And in reality, I should be grabbing my nine stars out of the bag, too. And using those puppets, because technically those other heroes could be ten stars. So we kind of want to keep them around. For a while there, we were using light heroes as food, too. Like, so many. Uh, we got tons of 10 stars. I think, honestly, we have more 10 stars than we do 9 stars right now. Look at all those 10 stars. And they're all just 100% food. All right. And then lastly, jump in here. Jump over here. Get that last one done. Yep. And get you set up the way we set, like, every single hero up. Good enough. Um, Gear we'll worry about later. We just do a single awakening. We should. We should top this off with one. Wait, no, I need these. No, no, I'm not doing that right now. I'm not. I think we'll call it right there. So we have the new Vulcan hero. Overall, ah, man, I don't know. He feels like Russell 2.0 in all honesty. Like his damage is like pretty good. The shield equal to 1200% of his attack is pretty sweet. Like I'll be honest, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the AoE sounds pretty solid. He's got holy damage mixed in there. Base attack not exactly doing much, but it's more to get the ammo and stuff. And yeah, it's interesting. Immune to fear. Meaning Lord of Fear Aspen can't energy oscillate him. He looks interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Why? He doesn't have his gear. <laughs> now it's like a gun lance. So it's like he upgrades. Okay, that makes sense now. I was like, why does this weapon look so weird? Eh, is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know how your summons went. I'll see you guys next time.